One of the topics we seem to have covered the most here on Healthcare Triage is vitamin D. And for the most part, we've been telling you most people won't benefit from supplementation. Today will be no different. This is Healthcare Triage News. Why is this news? There's a new study out. To the research. Big meta-analysis published very recently in JAMA Cardiology. They searched all the usual databases for randomized controlled trials of vitamin D supplementation to reduce cardiovascular events like heart attacks or stroke or all-cause mortality. To be included, studies had to look at long-term effects, at least one year, of supplementation. The main outcome of interest was a major cardiovascular event. They also looked at rates of myocardial infarction, stroke or cerebrovascular accident, cardiovascular disease mortality, and all-cause mortality. They found 21 randomized controlled trials. They included more than 83,000 patients, half of whom got vitamin D and half of whom got placebos. The average age of participants was just over 65 years and about three quarters of them were women. And the results? Prepare for disappointment. Vitamin D had pretty much no effect on the rate of cardiovascular events. Seriously, the relative risk was 1.00. Nada. Vitamin D was also not found to change the rates of myocardial infarction, relative risk 1.0, stroke, relative risk 1.06, cardiovascular disease mortality, relative risk 0.98, and all-cause mortality, relative risk 0.97, and all of those confidence intervals crossed one. So let me say this as clearly as I can. Taking vitamin D provides you pretty much no cardiovascular benefit at all. But what about musculoskeletal health, you ask? Having ignored the many, many, many videos we've made on that topic, I've got another reason study for you. Do we go to the research again? Sure, we do. To the research. Lancet, October of last year. Meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials that looked at vitamin D's effect on fractures, falls, and bone mineral density. 81 randomized controlled trials. More than 53,000 participants. And? Vitamin D had no effect on fractures or falls, and it had no clinically meaningful effect on bone mineral density. A USPSTF review last year did find, however, that it increased the risk of kidney stones if you take it with calcium. So bad? Randomized controlled trial last year in JAMA Oncology, no use in cancer prevention. Randomized controlled trial in the New England Journal of Medicine from about a month ago, no use in type 2 diabetes prevention. I'm still not convinced I'm getting through to many of you, but we'll keep on trying. Vitamin D supplementation just doesn't have the proven benefits many assume. Why are so many of you taking it? Hey, did you like this episode? You might also enjoy this other episode on supplements in general, which are pretty much just as bad. We'd like to especially thank, of course, our research associate, Joe Sevitz, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral Sam, and all of you can support the show at patreon.com slash healthcare triage. And don't forget to buy my book, it's out in paperback.